Okay, listen. So I know that I was just live and I was talking about being rich at the McDonald's drive through Y'all can tell that we are just, I mean, so independently wealthy. I just don't even know what to do with all of our monies, right? So here's what happened. And you can judge me. It's fine. Um, so I come home. Tiffany, listen. <laughs> I don't even know what to say because I don't know how people think this. Like how... <sighs> so I come home and there's two donation bags on my porch. And I was like, okay, awesome. We need to put those in the garage, right? And I was like, it's cool, Danger. I'll get them because he can't lift or anything. And I go and I open up the garage door and there's like a grown man's poops inside my garage. Like, <laughs> like an actual poops in my garage. And I was like, oh, what is that? Because it like didn't click. You know, I mean, who expects to find a poops in your garage? I'm like, what? What the frick? I don't know if I'm going to keep my signal. We're going to go out to the garage and see. And then, look. So, we don't have a very big garage. And it's really very, very cluttered and whatnot, you know. So, this is the garage. Here's the bags. we got donation bags. So, I come in the garage and there's the poops. And I'm like, oh, it's awful. It smells awful. It's the worst. And then I see... That my my snow globe, you see it? My snow globe is laying on the floor in my garage. And I was like, oh, some grown man broke into my garage and tried to steal my snow globe and took a poop in it. Because <laughs> that's the most rational thing, right? Somebody, and why did they just poop in my garage and not take the snow globe with them? Why did they just try to steal the snow globe? Because the snow globe was up there with like the fishing stuff. It was all the way up there in the rafters. So why did they just try to steal the snow globe and then poop in my garage? change the code on the garage somebody somebody must know our code <laughs> because people that know your code they break into your garage and they try to snow your sell your christmas decorations and then they poop in your garage right I mean, does, that, does that happen <laughs> I'm like, we gotta change the code. See, somebody, and to change the code, you know, y'all gotta, you gotta climb up way up on top the, the track thing and you gotta reset it. And so I'm afraid of heights. My tree stands like three foot off the air or, or off the ground because I'm terrified of the heights, right? So I don't, I don't wanna do that. That's not a good time for me. That's not fun. <sighs> good news is, I'm pretty sure I found the culprit because I'm fairly certain, oh look, look at you, fairly certain that grown men don't just like break into your house. Where are you going? Right there. <laughs> Rosedale. Rosedale, you jerk bag. <laughs> Do you understand the type of anxiety, like the level of anxiety? That he just caused me because I was sure that a grown man broke into my garage and tried to steal my Christmas ornaments and then pooped in it. Poop. <laughs> it may be, it may be the stress that we're dealing with because that is not a rational thought at all. Rational people don't sit around going, oh my gosh, I gotta change my key code for my garage because... <laughs> A grown man broke into it and tried to steal my Christmas ornaments, but then he didn't. He just pooped at it. <laughs> okay. Just wanted to share with y'all 
I feel pretty confident knowing that a grown man did not take a poop in my garage. I feel like that's, that should be clear by now. On the off chance, I did get my garage code changed, so. <laughs> Why is that even a thing? Oh, for the love of Jesus. Okay. So I'm gonna go be rich and ballin' and think about how somebody broke in my garage to take a poop. So, you're welcome. I just don't even know. <laughs> That's it. <laughs>